Hey, welcome back to the Meadow Florals. Today I'm taking you on a normal day and we're going to be working on that display which is supposed to have seven different arrangements that all include the same type of flowers. That's our rose display so I'm starting on Google getting some holiday inspiration because we work in retail so of course it's time to put out the Christmas stuff. This is the one that I landed on. I really like it because it's linear but then it also kind of flares out and it, I just like how it gave Alstromeria a different look besides just being a filler. So I was just looking at the similar arrangements that Google's recommending. And I got to work. So I'm just, we had some foam pre soaking. So I'm pulling that from the sink. And this is my vessel today. It's a little basket. And I tried to lay the foam really even and flat. And then it has a little, um, I forgot what that's called. And I started with the Christmas greens. And this is how it turned out. <laughs> I was going to do it step by step, but yeah, I was watching something on YouTube and I just didn't want to keep stopping. I really like it. It turned out good. I made it much shorter than the one on Google. Um just makes it more sellable and just more realistic for the grocery store and then this is my second inspiration I love how it's like just sitting on there with the pine cones in the base looks really festive and you could use it at an event of course I'm making it much shorter we have these pre-made centerpieces that came in our load from the other day so this cube face was the only thing wide enough that I could put the centerpiece into. And then I added some candy canes. I had to stop because I had a customer who needed a wrap, but it turned out really good. Pink lilies, and then had some whitish lilies, Australian berries. This is how this one turned out. I really like it. I wish I had tiny pine cones. I couldn't put any more because I it wouldn't sit flat. And I had to tape the centerpiece down, so it looks pretty good. I don't know where someone would put it if they bought it. But I like I used white hypericum berries, so kind of stood out and they look similar, so that's good. Um, now I had to stop on that project and work on an online order. It's supposed to be sunflowers, but we were all out. So I asked, could we use roses? They said yes. Some of the roses we had were not fresh, so the petals fell off. But I may do with yellow spray roses, some little limey yellow roses in the dark yellow and I just <clears throat> decided to add lilies too now I'm adding cranberries and they look amazing I could just put cranberries in a vase and that would be the arrangement they're just so beautiful in water this is how it turned out and as I was making it a lady actually asked if it was for anyone and I said no, and she said, oh, can it be for me? And then I had to sell it right away. So I tried to start making another one for the display, but we did not have those same type of vases. The two round vases that fit perfectly inside each other. So I kind of found this tall cylinder vase, thinking that we were going to have like a slightly smaller cylinder vase but all I could find was this orange one so yeah I just put the orange one in there and I said you know what I'm gonna make it work so this is what it's looking like so far it's kind of challenging but I'm gonna make it work 
So then I had another online order birthday arrangement. This is how it turned out. <clears throat> I really like the Gerbera daisies in there. It called for some balloons, and then I got another order. <clears throat> As I was looking back at the picture, I realized I forgot the lilies, so I went and grabbed the lilies. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's how it turned out. I don't know if I liked the arrangement at first. Maybe I put too much greenery, but... The further I stood away from it, then the better it looked, so. <laughs> so this is the other cranberry arrangement. I basically did a hand tie bouquet. Cut it short to match the, well, it, was, it wasn't too short since the orange face is deep down there, but I cut it, put it in the middle. That's <clears throat> what it looked like from the top. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I tried to group some roses together because I like the red and white and the little mums in the middle, pine cone, berries, but it was just not proportionate to the width of that vase, but I just went with it. And then by the end of the day, I had three arrangements for the front of the rose display. So I was like, you know what? That's good enough. I got some things done. Then I made this amazing arrangement at the end of the day before the, my shift ended, and I just loved it. I, I mean, it had like three sections of different pinks. It just made me feel, I don't know, it made me feel emotions. <laughs> and I think that's like painted yarrow that you had. They ship some painted yarrow in our load. But yeah. So that's the end of this random Tuesday. Day in the life of a floral designer. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.